A cathode ray tube is the forerunner of the television tube. It is a glass tube from which most of the air has been evacuated. When the two metal plates are connected to a high voltage source, the negatively charged plate, called the cathode, emits an invisible ray. The cathode ray is drawn to the positively charged plate, called the anode, where it passes through a hole and continues traveling to the other end of the tube. When the ray strikes the specially coated surface, the cathode ray produces a strong fluorescence or bright light. When an electric field is applied across the cathode ray tube, the cathode ray is attracted by the plate bearing positive charges. Therefore, a cathode ray must consist of negatively charged particles. We know these negatively charged particles as electrons. A moving charge body behaves like a tiny magnet and it can interact with an external magnetic field. The electrons are deflected by the magnetic field. As expected, when the direction of the external magnetic field is reversed, the beam of electrons is deflected in the opposite direction. In 1897, J.J. Thomson, an English physicist, determined the charge-to-mass ratio of an electron. He adjusted the electric field so that the electrostatic deflection, theta E, was the same as the magnetic deflection, theta B, and was able to calculate the charge-to-mass ratio of an electron using the following equation. Where E is the applied electric field, theta is the angle of deflection, B is the applied magnetic field, and L is the distance traveled by the cathode rays. Thomson determined the charge to mass ratio of an electron to be negative 1.76 times 10 to the 8th coulombs per gram.